my goodness, guys. We all gotta hurry up and get this new super easy free box as well as so many free skulls that 2K added. And I heard that if you like this video right now, we're all gonna get lucky. So don't risk it. And let me know down below in the comments a new player that you picked up because like I said, 2K added the free box. Is there a collection reward for this? It is a 95 plus overall hidden gems pack. So if you were lucky enough to get all these players, you can definitely lock it in. But I'm gonna show you guys how to get the free box as well as the free skulls. 2K actually ended up adding a lot more than I was expecting. I do wanna see if a lot of these are already in the auction house. Okay, Jermaine O'Neal, there's definitely more than, uh, you know, Francis right here, which obviously these are the new players. And the box is super easy to get. I do wanna see Corey. Corey is looking like the better diamond. There's only one of him. Ooh, okay, it's been about like, you know, 10 minutes. You know, my boy Richard Hamilton, he's not as good as he could have been and should have been. Oh, there's only one die. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Either no one's opening the packs or they're super rare. I'm not sure which one it is. How is there more pink diamonds than diamonds? That has never... That's weird. Did, did, did you notice that? Look at that. What? I've never seen less diamonds. Yo, there's literally <laughs> there's literally more Germains than any other diamond because there's only... Okay, now, okay, okay. They're starting to come up. They're starting to come up. Okay, no, they're still... Wow. All right, well, regardless, you got to hurry up and get the free box as well as everything else that 2K added today. And you already know I got you covered with everything. So they did end up adding another... They added two more parts with free skulls. And so you actually get two more. And they got a long list of... Uh, uh, look at this. Oh, they got a lot of stuff right here. But let's focus on the box first. And then we're going to look at the, you know... We're gonna look at the skulls as well. So let's see. Let's go over here to the box. Bam, there it is. I told you guys we were getting a free box and I told you and here it is. Okay, nice and easy. So you do get a 2000s edition. It is going to be a 10 pack box. And so that's gonna be one of these 100,000 BC value. I mean, listen, you gotta take it, especially with how easy it is. Like the challenges are very easy. Like I love when 2K makes the grind just so easy and manageable. Instead of making you play 500 games, they want you to get 10 blocks with centers over multiple games. Listen, that's going to be, you can do that naturally by just playing the game. Most of these challenges you just do by playing the game. You do also have to score 44 points with a point guard in a game. You should have a point guard by now. Let me know who you're running at the point shooting guard, small forward, power forward, center position for a free cookie. Just curious to know. So that's going to be easy. Then you go out there and get 19 rebounds with small forwards over multiple games. You can literally just run three small forwards in like a triple dot offline breakout game and get that done in one game. That's so easy. Oh my goodness. And then score 20 points in a game with a shooting guard two times. You can also do that in breakout. You see, this is how challenges should be. Just nice and easy and straightforward 2K. Get 18 assists with a point guard in a game. I like when they do these type of challenges. This is probably the best thing they've added like all year. Get three double doubles. Okay, the double doubles is going to be like the one that's going to take you the longest. And honestly... If you want to just play one domination game, that's actually not a bad idea. Like, literally, one domination game is going to get that done. You know, I, I did one game so far on the ABCs just because, you know, you know, like, I got my shooting guard already, so I don't need KCP. But you can literally just do that in one domination game. I mean, you get MT, you get XP, you get rep. Yeah, you can get 10 blocks in the game. 44 points, uh, you can do that, yeah. 19 rebounds, you can do that as well. 20 points. Okay, you'll have to play, like, one you know, breakout game right here, and then you can do that in domination, and then the three double doubles that should stack. And so, like, one domination game basically gets you the box, and then you will just have to play one more breakout game and score 20 points in the game with the shooting guard. Wow, you, you see, it's okay, it, it could be so simple. It could be so. Oh, why, why is it every, every agenda like this? This is such a W. I love it because then you have a chance at pulling any of these players. But of course, they added more, so we got to take a look. Obviously, with that box, you have a chance of getting any of these players. It's not a deluxe box. Keep that in mind. So imagine you'd be getting like 10 diamonds. It'd be crazy. Maybe they should do that. Maybe they should give us a deluxe pack and then a free box, you know, moving forward. Is there still like. Look at the auction house, bro. It's so crazy. There's more pink diamonds than diamonds. Have more Steve Francis. Oh, there's more Steve. Ooh. Why are the pink diamonds being pulled more than diamonds? I've never seen that. That is so strange. What? Look at this. In the time that we literally just uh, looked at the agendas, there's still more pink diamonds than diamonds. Interesting. Yeah, you're going to want to get that box, bro. Trust me. Now, when it comes to the skulls, so they still have the free P9 and score here, right? We already covered those. That was uh, part one. Now we got part two for a diamond. Kind of wish that would have been a, you know, a P9, but, you know, it'd be what it is. Now this, this event card, people have confirmed that you can actually get a P9 skull out of these random packs. But you can still get a gold. So it's literally anything from a gold all the way to a P9, which obviously that's going to be, you know, if you guys saw 
the videos I've been uploading. Did the gameplay on Shay, same with Hyman. So you can get a gold, ruby, amethyst, or pink diamond, or a diamond skull out of those packs. So you definitely do want to do those. Those are looking hopefully easy. Let's see, what do you got to do? Win five games using three or more Dia de los Muertos players. Uh, you can do that in Breakout. How do you get some free, you know, packs? Right here. Literally do the uh, Dia de los Muertos agendas. These, these, these give you multiple packs. Three, six, nine, and then two here. Yeah, you, you, got, you got plenty. You, you got players. You, you can do this. You should have three or more. Yeah, you should have uh, at least three. And then you got to win seven breakout games in a row. Okay, maybe you, you would want to do, if you're going to go for the skulls, maybe don't go into the domination game. And then that way, just do it in breakout, you know, for the box. Because you got to win seven games anyway, so you might as well do that. You know what I mean? But if you did just want to get that done, obviously, domination is good. You do have to win two triple threat park or triple threat online games in a row. Look, they added triple threat online. Okay, so that's going to give you a random score. So anything from a gold all the way to a pink diamond. And these are very easy. I mean, wow, that's it. Why couldn't it, <laughs> why couldn't it just be like this, 2K? Why couldn't it not just like be simpler? This event has been all over the place, man. My goodness. Now, part three is where it gets really interesting because now they want you to play with certain specific players. And 30 points with an amethyst or higher. Uh, oh, this, okay, this, that one... I don't like that one because then you do have to buy an amethyst but at the same time though you could just sell it back like you know what i mean like buy it for the cheapest and then just sell it back every other challenge is it looks like it's just gold it to ruby so it's just this first one that you need an amethyst or higher which according to what people are running in park everybody got victor webanyama bro it's crazy like i've never seen a card be more common than than than, than him you know, if you did have any of these players, you might want to sell them as well once you're done with the, uh, you know, challenges. So you do need, like, an amethyst or higher, just one, to be able to, uh, yeah, he's not, that's not, you can just sell it back. The auction house, it's going to take you a bit because of the escrow. <laughs> you know, the guys don't got to chill with that, but that is very manageable. And so that's going to be, like, the hardest one because 30 points with amethyst or higher, you know, because you'll have to get that amethyst. But then all the other ones... Are just Mario Chalmers, a follow, get one steal, two three-pointers, three rebounds. Some of these you might already have. One block with JJ uh, Hickson, 10 points with uh, Joe Ingles. I'm trying to see. There's no, like, Pink Diamond went by Yama, right? Uh, they got Muhammad. They got Brandon right here. Two dunks, three assists. Yeah, these are basically pretty straightforward. I feel like the, uh, the most expensive is probably going to be Mario Chalmers. And then, obviously, you would need that Amethyst that I showed you guys, but... Even Mario Chalmers, like, just sell the cards back. Like, just literally pick the cheapest one. And then once you're done, just sell it. Even though, again, it is going to take you a bit just because of the escrow. That, that's going to be the longest part. It's not the challenge, but waiting for the card. Oh, people went crazy on Chalmers. No, people are, oh, people are, are buying him. Yeah, he was already pretty because he's one of the better, like, rubies. But people are definitely buying him. What about the uh, the other rubies? Actually, we can just take a look at ruby and then we'll do the, you know, this set right here. Might be a good snipe filter, the rubies. Oh yeah, people are buying out the cards, wow. <laughs> That's the community, bro, the community is doing that, oh my goodness. Oh yeah, the community already uh, buying up all the rubies. Yeah, so I would definitely just, you know, be patient with some of these. 2,800 for a ruby, 2,500. Yeah, these were definitely under 2,000, so they went up a little bit. But uh, the people that open packs, you know, they're still going to be, I mean, these are deluxe packs, right? So there's always going to be players in the market. And again, you can just sell them back. And most of these are just going to be golds, emeralds, and sapphires. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just the uh, Danny Ainge, Terry. Yeah, it's just the golds and, and emeralds. I do wish that it wasn't like a specific player, but you do end up getting a gold skull. And there's about like, what, how many of these challenges? There's like a bunch of these. How many? So you get 35 uh, gold skulls. I would definitely focus on part two. Part three is just going to be like if you do need those extra, you know, players. But I, I like I like how they did this. And then I like the box. And then this could have been better. But you can just buy the players and sell them back. And then just do the exchanges and then get yourself some more stuff. Which, you know, I, I like the exchanges. You know, get Jaime. Go after that Shea of your clothes. And then get everything else that you want. And I mean, guys, it's time to go grind while you're grinding. Check out the gameplay I did with Shay as well as the other videos. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.